Hello, welcome to Riverside Studios Tutorials, and today this is what we're going to be making. Um, first, we're going to go over some basis of motion graphics. So, um, in motion graphics, there is a foreground, a midground, and a background. In the midground, it's usually the text, and the background and foreground are just objects put around it. And uh, you can add other stuff as well, such as that plane. Alright, so first we need to gather our materials. So I got the first one by searching Creative Commons Photo Textures on Google. And I just grabbed any one, like this one is my favorite. And so I just pulled onto our desktop. And then also we have this one which we're going to be using, which you can download in the description. And then we need the font, so we went to thefont.com and use graffiti. Went down and I found this font called Alphabet City and download it. And then we need to install that font. Okay, now we open up After Effects and we'll just drag in our pictures now. And we'll start a new composition and call it Motion Graphics. And uh, now we're just going to drag in our background, hit S, and scale it up. Now next we're going to hit the text and type in Motion. We're going to change that to our font Alphabet City. And then we're just going to hit this tool and drag it over. And next we're going to start a new line so that we have um, more control and we're just going to call this graphics tutorials and then we're just going to scale this down and move it around a little bit and around there and then we're going to select all three layers and hit 3d now if we hit new camera we're just going to hit ok go up here to the camera tool and then you can see it's 3D but it is all flat so we're gonna select the text and I'm gonna drag it out and uh, now when we move around it has a little bit more 3D depth to it uh, now we're gonna drag in the fog Put it there. Um, now we're going to come down here and uh, hit uh, two views horizontal so we can see it compared to the depth of the other layers. And we're just going to drag that in the front to make it our foreground. And uh, just move it around a little bit more. Next, we're going to go down to camera options and turn on depth of field. And we're going to pull up the aperture quite a bit to somewhere around there. And next we're going to go to focus distance and move that around till we see that the letters are in, in focus as much as possible. So now it creates like a depth between, it creates that depth of feel that normally you get. Alright, now we're going to create creek frames for the positions. And we're just going to stop at four, 4 seconds. And um, so we're just going to move one of these over. Depending on what type of shot you want, you can move whichever of the three you want. And so now we get this. Now you notice that the, the fog layer is coming off on this side there. So we're going to move that over a little bit. And um, that's pretty much it. We just need to double check the focus and uh, keyframe the focus distance. Then we're just going to add to our render queue and render it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial helped you out. And uh, please subscribe.